वेलकम बैक टू ऑफ द रिकॉर्ड विद कार्ति पी चिदम्बरम कार्ति यू वे मेनी हैड्स वाइस प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द तमिलनाडु टेनिस एसोसिएशन ऑल्सो ऑल इंडिया टेनिस एसोसिएशन एंड वट बोलिंग एसोसिएशन वट एल्स कराटे आई थिंक यू डन लॉट ऑफ टूर्नामेंट्स एंड ऑल हियर बिन अ स्पोर्ट्स मैन आई नो इन स्कूल वे यू आर माई सीनियर आई मस्ट से दैट यू आर माई सीनियर इन स्कूल ऑल्सो कार्ति रिफ्यूज टू ओके नो नो दैट्स डिबेटेबल बट दिस होल डिबेट अबाउट पॉलिटिशन स्टेइंग अवे especially after the commonwealth uh, you know this entire scandal that's broken suresh kalmadi uh, in the news for all the wrong reasons do you believe politicians should actually mind their politics and not uh, venture into sports administration i don't think you should broad brush any category of people i think you should judge everybody on their own track record as far as i'm concerned you should judge me on my track record in tennis and in bowling and i think i can easily stand on my record in what i've done for tennis particularly in like friends why can't the agriculture minister of the country who's got so much on his plate anyway just focus on his ministry why can't several other call. ministers that's focus on he needs to take whether he wants to handle two positions or whether he wants to handle one position and he, how he juggles his time and that's a call people above him has to have to take as far as i'm concerned i'm not i don't hold any um, public office I, i i think i do a i spend a fair bit of time in tennis and bowling and i think i've done a fair bit for both the sports uh, in, in tennis uh, we i run we you run retain the, the chennai open yeah, we run the biggest uh, atp tennis tournament here right here in this stadium which we're very proud of it's coming back again in january of 2011 uh, we raise a fair amount of money we have uh, support from the government of tamil nadu uh, top players come here and play it's been a platform for indian players also to showcase their talent on 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 the other count also what what you have done is we are also supporting a lot of upcoming players there are three players from tamil nadu where we are supporting um, significantly they've been sent abroad so yours is a one off case then and an exception i don't know i i i don't think you can make any generalizations i don't think you should broad brush things at all i think you should just judge each person on his his or her own track record and then pass judgment talking uh, of track record what after 31 years you brought the davis cup back to chennai <laughs> 1979 yes, we had a davis cup tie last year we had not uh, australia pulled out for very frivolous reasons citing uh, security, security even though the itf certified chennai to be absolutely safe uh, yes we are very very happy to have uh, the opportunity to hold a davis cup tie on from the 17th of september to the 19th of september yes it will be 31 years we'll be playing a match against brazil in a world group playoff the chief minister of tamil nadu in fact is coming here on the 16th of september to uh, do the draw Yeah, we're very happy. But the reason why Chennai. So all those who say that Karthi uh, is is against the chief minister and all that. Uh, no, no, just because I articulate a, a political standpoint where I want to assert the Congress point of view a little bit more significantly, doesn't mean I have any personal grouse against the chief minister of Tamil Nadu. And I think that's a very piquant situation in Tamil Nadu. Just because you articulate a point of view politically. or uh, as a position to policy you don't necessarily become a personal enemy that is a very uniquely dravidian phenomena and i think i come from the congress party and we don't believe in that i think one can have a difference of opinion on the public platform and still have excellent personal relationships uh, with people and i have friends across the political spectrum in tamil nadu and uh, yes of course i uh, i'm very very happy that the chief minister is coming here on the 16th of september he's been a great support for this tournament as well because the tamil nadu government supports the atp championship and he's coming here for the davis cup tie to do the draw and uh, the reason why chennai hasn't had an opportunity in the past to hold davis cup is you got to understand that previously indian players preferred to play on grass and since chennai doesn't have a grass court the matches always went to chandigarh maybe delhi sometimes to calcutta uh, but now we have a top player who wants to play on a hard court he wants to play in a warm climate and he wants to play in chennai so so it's really somdev who's really swung the uh, the match in, in in chennai's way and we're very very happy to be hosting the indian team in september no controversy this time around unlike uh, the chennai open last time the uh, spat with, with vijay no, amrit raj no controversy last time amma. vijay amrit raj I, mean, I mean as i said i explained this many a time you know there is a new tournament there's a new tournament committee and i'm the chairman of the new tournament committee so there was no role for uh, somebody who was perhaps part of the previous uh, management so there was a management change in the tamil nadu tennis association there's a change in the organizing committee and so i am the organizing committee chairman now for the next 5 years So there's no personal issue. I have excellent relationship with Mr. Vijay Amitra. He was still beats me in tennis. Still plays tennis with you. <laughs> so we, we still play tennis whenever we get the opportunity. Still beats me in tennis. All right. So no aces up anyone's sleeve. I think one must understand that there are very different roles one plays from as a player and as administrator and things like that. And it's been a change of guard in Tamil Nadu. But the Commonwealth Games, do you feel uh, uh, that at least in the light of what's been happening and what's been exposed in the media? that people like mr kalmadi should actually bow out of it 
things could have been different in the way the Commonwealth Games are panning out. I can only speak for tennis and I think we are going to be ready. Uh, we are ready. Our stadium is ready. Uh, I, I've seen the stadium myself. We've been certified by the ITF and the tennis event will be a good event. But yes, in India, of course, you know, I think we need to bring in professionals into actual management of sport. I mean, I, I don't deny that at all. Uh, you've got to understand that most people, including me, who hold positions in sporting associations, do it on an honorary basis. I think the time has come where we'll start paying sports administrators on par with private sector jobs. As far as the Commonwealth Games are concerned, I think we should have done something. If we had wanted to do something different, we should have done it much earlier, not now. And uh, what we should have done is we should have perhaps brought in five to ten top executives from private sector on private sector level salaries to be part of it like the Los Angeles did with Peter Uberoth when they ran the Olympics. What about uh, a lot of people still have this question, I know you'll talk about the WTA, uh, about women coming to play the Chennai Open here, Sanya Mirza coming here at some stage, is that possible at all? Confusing. I know there are two different organizers, yes. What we run here is an ATP event and the women's tour is a WTA event and I, um, I as far as Tamil Nadu Tennis Association is concerned, I don't think we'll have the resources to run another professional tournament. It costs lots of money to run a professional tournament. It costs close to $2 million to put an, even an ATP event together and I'm not sure that we'll be in a position to raise enough money to put together a WTA event. So we are quite content in running the ATP. We'll, we are making all efforts to make sure it continues even beyond 2011. I'm very hopeful it will continue beyond 2011. And maybe now, since we're getting the opportunity to run the uh, Davis Cup matches here as well, I think we'll have more opportunities to get uh, Davis Cup matches here, then to run our junior development program. That's really our focus right now. Right. How do you see yourself in 2016? Politically, where do you see yourself? I see the Congress being far more relevant in Tamil Nadu. Congress perhaps being very pivotal. Part of the government? Most definitely. Most definitely. In 2011 or 2016? I thought you asked 2016, so I was more categorical about 2016. But uh, we hope in 2011 as well. Um, if, if the Congress has a significant role, hopefully if I grow within the organization, I too will be given more responsibility within the party. But I, as I said, my ambitions are completely confined within the Congress party and my future depends completely on the future of the Congress party in Tamil Nadu. Alright, so how good is Karthi, uh, how good a sport is Karthi as a person, all that and more in our final segment. Stay tuned.